Hi. Have you ever wondered how to make your own cloth diapers? Well, I'm here to help. Today, we're going to look at two different types of diapers, the flat and the pre-flat. In my opinion, those are the best two diapers because they wash really easily, they dry super quickly, and they're the easiest to keep stink free. We're also going to look at tools that you'll need. Now, if all you have is a pair of scissors, that's going to be enough. We can work with that. We're also going to look at fabrics. You might have fabrics around your house that you can use, like receiving blankets, but we'll get into that. I'm also going to give you um, my personal favorite. I did a ton of research to find the best fabric for diapers, and I definitely, definitely found one that I love, and I, I'll share that link with you guys in the comments. All right, let's get into it. So we're going to start with the simplest diaper ever and that's just the flat now flat is just ideally a square you can make they can be rectangular but ideally a square piece of fabric this is a size I really like it works well for everything really honestly from a newborn up until potty training so um, these I like to make them 28 inches by 28 inches which is 71 centimeters by 71 centimeters so you know, they can be give or take a little bit on that. Some people make them smaller. You might want to go bigger, but I, probably not. Cause I mean, it's gonna end up being pretty bulky for your baby if you get too much bigger. These are really easy. You can make them out of all kinds of fabric. You can make them out of receiving blankets you might already have. You can go to the thrift shop and buy receiving blankets. I rummaged around my house to see what I might have here that I could use and all I found was I found some old pillowcases that um, are flannel. They would work. But if you're gonna buy new fabric, you can buy cotton flannel at the fabric shop. But what I really recommend most is this exact fiber. I did a ton of research. I brought in a ton of samples and I tested what was most absorbent. And not only absorbent, but what could withstand compression right because your baby's bum gets wet then they sit on that bum they're in their car seat whatever and the pee squishes out so you want something that's going to hold on even with compression and what i found was this exact fabric it's a bamboo hemp spandex blend and i'm actually going to put the link um, in the description because i really recommend this 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 fabric so this is that bamboo hemp fabric I was talking about and I actually I have a bolt of it here and last night I ripped off a one meter well I guess it was a one yard piece and when I say ripped off I mean I ripped it off I I took my scissors and I just made a little cut like a little cut and then I just ripped and it rips nice and straight right along with the grain of the yarns that it's made from so I actually prefer to do that because it get, it's going to give you a nice straight line. And when you cut, like it's really hard to, especially with stretchy fabric, it's hard to keep straight. And especially if you happen to have toddlers in the house, they love to. Oh, I, I tried to cut this same fabric at my daughter's house once and her toddler just insisted on standing. I was doing it on the floor and the toddler insisted on standing on top of it every single time I would get it all nice and straight and <laughs> she would stand on it every time. anyways um so you would just this is what one yard looks like if you buy one yard of this fabric it's only going to get you two flats so and, and plus some inserts to put in it if you were to cut it I'm actually not going to cut this piece for a flat I'm going to show you a pre-flat but if you did want to if you did want to make a flat with this actually you would just measure your 28 inches you know i've got a nice little a grid here 28 inches you know this is just going to be enough for a nice insert this little extra bit i would put a little cut with my scissors and rip it off and then i happen to have already measured this piece and it's actually exactly right the width of it after being washed is exactly if you fold it in half it's going to be 28 inches so that's perfect you just have to cut it straight down the middle or rip it down the middle see if i do this it should be 28 inches and it is 28 inches right there the company that i buy this stuff from they sell it by the bolt as well as by the meter and 
they sell eight and ten yard bolts I might say meters and mix up my meters and my yards because I'm I'm Canadian I'm used to saying meters but I know that most of my audience is probably more used to hearing yards either way they're almost interchangeable I would suggest you buy a 10 yard bolt if you made them instead of 28 inches if you did 27 point 75 inches you would be able to get 26 diapers from a 10 yard bolt 10 yard bolts about 120 dollars so really that's all the diapers that you're going to need if you do it that way now you're gonna of course you need um you need something to go over the diaper to keep it from getting wet everywhere right i'm actually making another video on how to make a wool soaker and honestly those are the best they're amazing they're easy to look after too. You can even make them from upcycled sweaters from the thrift shop. In fact, I've got some sweaters here, so I am gonna make a video and I'm gonna show you that next week. I'm just gonna quickly show you how one of the million of different ways that you can fold this. Cause you're looking at this thinking, all right, Rebecca, how am I, what do I do with the square? Like, what do I do with that? It's actually really easy. And there's lots of different ways to fold these. And depending on the size of your baby, and if it's a boy or if it's a girl, they have different wet zones, right? I'm gonna show you this one fold, it's called the origami. Once you get this one mastered, you can easily master any other one. I'm gonna see if you can follow along. So I folded it in half, I'm gonna fold it in half again, then I'm gonna take a corner, pull it out. Now I've got a nice little triangle here. So I'm gonna flip this over. Now the triangle's on the back, and I'm gonna fold this over several times. This is gonna be um, where your baby's gonna be peeing on. So there, just like that. And we take your baby, this is just our little dolly rosebud, and you can roll up these little edges. I'm not sure if you can see this or not. Roll up the edges. And then you just pull it around and around. And you're gonna use, um, you can use pins. I'm gonna tuck this in and you can see even this will hold, but I mean, you're gonna have a pant on over top of it. So you're either gonna use a wool soaker or you can even use um, a pocket diaper or just a cover on over top of that. But I would normally use a snappy. And they look, they're just like this. We sell them in our store, but you can buy them virtually anywhere. And you just, take attach that you just hold it there it's got little little teeth and over here and down here and voila that is going to hold that on your baby quite nicely and that's going to do you for a long time these are great perfect diapers you don't need anything else but i'm going to show you one more thing that i think might be even better especially for night i'm going to show you how to make a pre-flat from this and a pre-flat like I mentioned earlier, is amazing. I think they're maybe a better option, if that's possible. And um, definitely a better option for night. You're gonna love it. it baby's gonna go all night without soaking through these diapers. So I'm gonna use this piece because I already cut it and I have it ready here. And I made, I have a pattern and I actually am working on getting a pattern that I can put up, um, but I don't, I don't have it available yet for, for you to buy or for me to give away, whatever works out. But um, I can tell you how to make it and you can make this. Well, I'm just gonna have to show you, okay? I'll show you how this works because it's just, it really is amazing. So I'm gonna fold my fabric in half. Just trying to line up these side edges. Okay, that's pretty, pretty great. Okay, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but you know, it's nice to be perfect if you can be. Okay, so you can use scissors. If you, if you don't have um, a rotary cutter, use scissors. I'm gonna tell you how wide to cut it first. So this is, 18 and a half inches wide by 21 inches long. 
Now you want the, this is what's going to wrap around your baby. So you want these to be on the stretchy side. This is the stretchy way. This is stretchy, but not as stretchy. You can tell immediately by feeling it. So that means I want these to go because they're going to wrap around the baby. I want them to be the stretchiest. So I want this to come to the top. And this is called cutting on the fold or well, I'm not cutting on the fold, but this is the fold. Take a straight edge or, you know, you can rip. It's a little harder to rip because I really want you to cut on the fold there. I, I want that fold. I want this to be double layered to make it the best it can be. Obviously you can cut them in two separate pieces. In fact, that's how I used to do it, but I've changed the way I do it because I find this way is a lot nicer. I'm going to use a rotary cutter. You can use scissors if you have scissors. I'm just going to line this up here. You don't need to have a pattern. In fact, this is when I had to tape it together. You can see I've been using it for a while. Now we want to make these little wings to go around your baby, right? I'm going to tell you what these measurements are. Maybe I'll put these in the description too. So I want to go over from the edge four and a half, four and a half inches. And down from the top, you're going to go, well, what have I got here? Almost six inches. Actually, I'm going to say six inches. So four and a half over, six inches down. Same thing on this side. So really, if you mark a point there, and if you don't have, you know, this is just probably parchment paper that I have. I have proper tracing paper now, but I think this was just parchment paper out of my kitchen. You can use one of these erasable um, markers if you have them. You can use a pencil if that's all you have and mark that spot on your fabric. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't made a pattern, just mark it on your fabric. And really all you want to do is cut a line. And I'm going to circle up a little bit. So starting there. I'm just going to circle up. And then I'm going to cut out this little wedge. Oops. Just to make it nicer. These don't have to be exactly perfect. Again. And there you have it. Now we have a pre-flap right? That's all you have to do. It's done. I'm going to serge the edges because that's how I roll. That's how I like to do it, but you don't have to do it. it. It will just have little shaggy edges like this, but it will not be the end of the world. And okay. Look, when you throw it in the washing machine, it's just one piece of fabric. It dries, it washes super easily. When you go to put it on your baby, you're just going to, you're just going to fold it like this. It's so easy. I know I keep saying that, but it is easy. What I do, I'll just tell you before I do it. I actually just go around. I just continue. I start on the corner and I just surge the whole thing. I just surge in here all the way around until I get back to the corner I started on. And I'm back. The surging is all finished. I'll show you what it looks like now. Okay. So I'm going to lay this out so you can get a good visual on how I made that cut. So again, that point that I told you about, it was just down here. I just cut down and cut back up. And this is where it folds in half. All right, here we are. And I'm going to show you how to diaper Rosebud. So again, you just fold the diaper sides in. See, so if you have a bigger baby, you obviously you leave this up and it's like it's extra padded back here. It's great because now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six layers in the wet zone, right? Where they're going to get, where it's going to get messy. You can even fold this, you know, there's just so many different ways. You can fold one layer separately. Maybe you want to fold this one in first like this, right? Then you've got extra padding there. Maybe you want to go even higher to here and then fold it in 
Now you've got even more coverage. And I'm gonna remember Rosebud's teeny tiny. I'm gonna go down. Got these little wings here. And on she goes. There we go. I'm gonna make it nice and snug around our little legs. Snug, snug, snug. And wrap this around. And snug it up on our legs again. You wanna just snug them all the way around. And boom. Tuck it. And throw your snappy on. And there you have it. Again, Rosebud is nicely diapered. She's diapered, you can tuck this edge in if you, if you want. These dye, this fabric dyes really well. I'm gonna make another video on how to dye the fabric, but obviously you don't need to dye it. And you can, if you do have a serger at home, you can, you know, you can use any color you like for the trim on these. Um, if you don't have a serger, but you still wanna finish the end, you can use a zigzag stitch on a sewing machine. That works just as well. And, or like I said before, even if you don't, even if you just leave those edges raw, they're totally fine. So there you have it. I swear to you, <laughs> this is so good. And the reason what makes it so good is that it's one layer. It washes really easily. This fabric just, it's, the, the poop comes off really easily. Um, it dries so fast. I have washed them and I have a pretty good spinner on my machine. And if I hang them dry, 30 minutes and they're dry. Like 30 minutes and that's a night, think of it, a, your nighttime dry, diaper hanging dry in 30 minutes. And that's in my basement, I hang them dry. So it's not like I have them hanging outside. If you hang them outside in the sun, they probably dry even faster. I think these diapers are amazing. And if you think they're amazing too, or if you found any value in this video, please like the video, give me a comment, subscribe if you're so inclined. We also do a lot of weaving and there's weaving videos as well. Baby wearing, we've got lots of baby wearing and baby wrap videos on the way too. So have a great day.